Prince Harry and Kate S.A.T. apart at Anzac Day service for this reason. Prince Harry and sister-in-law Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, put on an uncharacteristically chummy display at an event in London yesterday, putting rift rumours to bed while baffling royalists by sitting apart. Harry grinned from ear to ear as he walked into the Anzac Day service at Westminster Abbey today, located 25 miles from the Windsor home he now shares with pregnant Meghan, 37. Kate too appeared happy to see her brother-in-law, and smiled as they greeted other attendees at the service to mark the anniversary Gallipoli landings during World War I, and is a national day of remembrance for Australia and New Zealand. All appeared well, with the twosome reunite the Cambridges and Sussexes following almost a year of tension that even saw the Queen, 93, step in last Christmas. However, Fans of both houses were scratching their heads over why the pair sat apart after such a chummy display on the way in. Hello! Magazine reports that because Prince William was away on a trip to New Zealand, Kate was relegated several seats away from Harry, who as sixth in line to the throne and sat closer to the altar. In simple terms, blood royals take precedence over non-blood royals. Father-to-be Harry's attendance came as a welcome surprise to royal fans. This was not only due to Meghan being tucked away at Frogmore Cottage ready to give birth to their first child any moment, but also because the pregnancy meant his name was not even on the list of attendees. It is understood Harry always planned to attend the service and was pleased to be able to join the congregation. But with his baby due around this period, his name was not printed in the program in case he was unable to attend. Anzac Day, April 25th marks the anniversary Gallipoli landings during World War I, and is a national day of remembrance for Australia and New Zealand. The traditional church service in London incorporates an act of remembrance, the last post and the words of modern Turkey's founder Kemal Ataturk from Anzac Cove, read by the Turkish ambassador to the UK. Thousands of Anzac troops, Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, died in the ill-fated 1915 campaign. Waves of Allied forces launched an amphibious attack on the strategically important Turkish peninsula, which was key to controlling the Dardanelles Straits, the crucial route to the Black Sea and Russia. The last time the Duke of Sussex and Kate were seen in public was when the pair joined the Queen for the Easter Sunday church service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. Prince Harry's naughty smile teamed with Kate's genuine grin are signs the pair have a close relationship. Contrary to reports of a rift tearing the Cambridges and Sussexes apart, according to a body language expert, Harry, 34, and Kate, 37, attended a church service at Westminster Abbey today, 25 miles from the Duke's new Frogmore Cottage home in Windsor. The Duke of Sussex's appearance to honour the sacrifices of Australian and New Zealand forces with the Duchess of Cambridge, 37, raised eyebrows for two reasons. The first suggested American Meghan is unlikely to give birth today. The second was because the friendliness of Harry and Kate revealed they are in fact close, contradicting reports of a rift between them. Body language expert Judy James told the male Harry reverted to the cheeky role of younger brother around Kate, who had an animated grin, showing just how comfortable the pair are around one another. Addressing reports of a spat between the Cambridges and the Sussexes, she added, the pair have been included in so many rumors of rifts between the Fab Four. However the way Harry leaned over to chat to Kate at Easter, despite appearing to ignore William, and now this congruent and authentic-looking display of ongoing friendship, suggests that if there are any ongoing problems it doesn't involve Harry and his sister-in-law. Analyzing Harry, she said, as the pair walk into the service, Harry's wide, apple-cheek smile and display of teeth plus his dimples visible above the beard, make him look happy and relaxed. It's been a long time since we've seen that naughty smile on Harry's face. His dimpled grin as he chats with his sister-in-law shows that, although he might have matured into a serious-looking husband and father-to-be, he can still revert to the role of younger brother now and again. She also spoke about the stance between the Duke of Sussex and his sister-in-law. She said, there is a sizable gap between him and Kate here but the bonding of friendship looks undeniable, and as the pair make eye contact they're mirrored, suppressed smiles with some tensing of the muscles around the nose suggests they are both laughing at the same thing. She added, 
With his eyes narrowed and the V-shaped brow formation Harry looks to be back to his days of Joker in the royal pack here. Reports of a rift between the foursome surfaced after a tense fitting for Princess Charlotte's dress for Meghan's wedding to Harry, which was said to have left Kate in tears. William sparked rage from his brother after warning him not to rush into marriage with Meghan. William was then also accused of not rolling out the red carpet for the former Deal or No Deal model. Things got so bad the couples tried to avoid one another at Christmas, forcing the Queen, 93, to step in.